Caribou, not only a proud sponsor of the arts, but a contributor and life force to the alternative lifestyle that progressive Canadians need to embrace to aggressive anti-corporate com campaign that is stealing hatred upon the masses. And we need to drink caribou as our life spirit force to continue the strengthening of our souls against the nastiness of a corporate oil campaign. Here's that. Hello, my name is Mike Turley, and I'm here to talk to you about Mike's Northern Lights Commercial Vehicle Bike Test Cart. This cart is designed specifically for commercial trailers and trucks for testing the electrical system as well as the air brakes on all commercial vehicles as well as RV and boat trailers, light utility trailers and such. I've been doing commercial vehicles since the conception of the Commercial Vehicle Inspection Program here in the early 80s. And doing so, I noticed that nobody seemed to have a proper means of checking the air system and or the electrical. What I have here is an emergency and an airline with glad hands. A fill port here, when you hook an airline to it, it's the same as pushing the emergency button on the dash for your trailer brakes. Supply here, it puts the air down the emergency line. It also supplies air up here to a regulator so that you can apply the service brakes. You can control the service brake pressure with the regulator here. You can see how much pressure you're applying with the gate. Your turn signals, you have a left turn. I have it on, working on a flasher so that it makes it a lot easier to identify the difference between a turn signal and a brake light. And you're wondering what's going on at the back of the trailer. So I have left turn, we have right turn, I have tail lights, clearance light, brake or stop lights, and ABS. They're also hooked into the recreation vehicle the same way. This auxiliary is your center pole, same as it would be under ABS. This four-way is hooked into these three. I have them labeled here P1, P2, P3, showing the respective pins inside. You have P1, P2, P3 here, so that you can do whatever you want with this. These are often used on a commercial dump trailer, a pup trailer which goes behind the dump truck where they'll have a four pin like this so they can operate things like a tailgate cart or tailgate trip for tarp. It also has the seven way commercial, four way commercial, the seven way RV. You can also use a converter plug to do the flat four pin, flat five pin, any type of uh, utility trailer, boat trailer, RV trailer, commercial pup for your tarp, tailgate trip, box light, ABS, you can get blink codes out of it. It comes with a battery which supplies power for the lights as well as booster battery. It has a battery charger, automatic one that will shut itself off so you don't overcharge the battery. It comes with a voltmeter, simply press the button, check the battery condition. It comes with holders for the air brakes, the airlines, which is standard bracket to use on the back of a truck. Around here we have a hose hangers. We have commercial vehicle lights in here. Turn this thing on. You're actually turning on both elements. And the reason for that is to troubleshoot a lot of electrical, a high resistance connection, you need a high current draw to find the problem. If you use an LED, similar type test light, which uses a milliamp circuit, it'll often fool you. It'll tell you that it's okay, but it's actually not. It won't run these incandescent lights. Comes with a work light, which is operated on a switch here, so that when you're out in a dark parking lot, you've got something that you can see what you're doing. It's activated right there. This is also designed where I put any size battery in there. You can put the big truck battery in there, so you can boost the truck. I also have here a jumper battery disconnect switch so that you can make a safe connection to a vehicle with a dead battery. 
make your final connection here so you don't create a spark at the battery and jump start a vehicle in the parking lot. One of the features of it is you don't need the truck there to test the trailer. Drop the trailer in the shop, you don't need the truck there to hook up to it. Simply pull the cart up to it, plug in, check all the lights, hook up the airline, hook a shop air to it. You release the brakes, you can check the brake application, set the pressure, whatever pressure you want to apply. It's a time saver, huge. Everybody knows in a commercial, commercial shop, time is money. Everything is made with readily available components which are available in the commercial industry, such as the lights, the grommets, all the sockets, everything is standard stuff that everybody's going to have in their shop, so if anything goes wrong, they can fix it themselves. me, Tex, coming in again. I want to say a few things about the two special Northern Lights 5000. T and the RT. You hear that ticking noise? The CL. It's not ticking now. There's no time bomb here. I love the Big Mike Charity Special. <laughs>